Dateline date ends with a woman in the hospital and a man in jail. Now, San Marcos police are looking for other women who may have been victims. John McCree is charged with identity theft and fraud. Police say McCree drugged a woman he met through an online dating site. Now it's bringing new warnings for other women. Heather Jackson has the story. A 58% increase from the previous year. It's a concerning number, showing a dramatic increase in the number of calls Melissa Rodriguez says the Hayes County Caldwell Women's Center gets concerning sexual assaults. Come on in. People with the center say the majority of those calls are from online dating. Online creates this false sense of that safety sometimes, and it lowers one's inhibitions. We learned about one woman from San Marcos who met a man online named Dylan Erickson. She was on the dating website plentyoffish.com. The man reportedly claimed to be a San Antonio firefighter. In October, they met at her apartment for the first time. The man reportedly drugged the victim's wine and was arrested two weeks later. The victim learned his real name was John Wesley McCree. Unfortunately, the San Marcos woman who reported being a victim in this case may not be the only one. It's been our experience that in crimes such as this, uh, it's a pattern of behavior for the for the person. Chief Staff is asking other victims to come forward to hopefully stop him from doing this again. Although Melissa Rodriguez says the likelihood of a victim coming forward is slim to none, she wants people to know help is waiting. Find some support and resources should you choose to come forward and know that there are some people on your side. In San Marcos, Heather Jackson, KXAN News. And police also learned the accused dating predator was using several different names, including Richard Dustin Jessup. If you have more information about possible victims or need resources as a victim, log on to our website, kxan.com.